Yo, what is up fam? Welcome back to the Car Talk Podcast. Today is going to be an awesome, awesome podcast. It's going to be short and sweet. I don't have too, too much time on this drive, but got just the perfect amount of time to bring you as much value as I can possibly do. So, without a further ado, today I want to be talking about something that is very near and dear to my heart because I believe in it more than honestly anything else right now, and that is creating content. Creating content right now can really, really throw people off just because of the stigma that content creators have around it um, and around that whole idea of being a social media person. But I'm here to tell you, like, it's literally just another way for you and I to communicate, another way for you to communicate with another person instead of just going into a, you know, a place to meet somebody like I don't know, there's just no better place to meet people that are interested in the same thing that you're interested in, um, other than going to like a place like where I work, you know, I work at Cabela's Bass Pro, and honestly, I got that job there for one reason and one reason only, and that was to make connections in the fishing industry. There's another way that I could do it, and I was doing it, which is creating content online, But that takes much, much longer and is a little bit more difficult to find people that are interested in what you're interested in just because of the amount of creators that there are. But I will say that it is not impossible and now is no better time to start creating, especially if you're the type of person that somewhat feels like they could live the creator lifestyle or for the person that feels like they've got big dreams but they don't know how to achieve them, I promise you, The number one way for you to be successful and become successful and to live the life that you want to live, because ultimately, you guys know from this podcast, success to me is not money. It's not financial, you know, financial benefits. It's none of that shit. It's literally being able to do what you want to do, having the freedom to do what you love to do. That to me is what success is. And when you can make other people feel fulfilled or feel like their purpose is good or feel like... You know, they can maybe learn and catch a few more fish because of what you're posting. I guarantee you that's going to feel better than any amount of dollar or any dollar amount that can come your way. And I want people to realize this and start creating because we need more authentic creators creating. We have enough content creators that are trying to milk the system and make as much money as possible. Today is a day where we need all of the authentic people that are just genuinely wanting what's best for their lives but are working nine to five and not feeling fulfilled to start getting fulfillment by creating content and spreading what they know and spreading what they love to impact people to bring them value so that eventually inevitably what you're doing is going to bring in money it's inevitable it's inevitable we all know people that are so damn successful from creating content and doing social media. And that's why we feel like it's impossible for us to be able to do it and become successful like them. And I'm here to tell you, we might not be able to fucking make millions and billions of dollars. I should just say millions because a lot of content creators don't make billions. But a lot of content creators make millions. And I'm talking 5, 10, 15, 20. Some of them, which I've been watching since, you know, Vine era, they're making way more of themselves. But it's really just down to how much ambition you have and what you want out of life. I swear, online content, bringing whatever you can to the table, whether that's written content, video content, audio content, whatever you can produce, that's the ticket to making true, true success. I'm not going to say financial success because that's... I don't want that to be the mission of the people that start creating, and I think that's actually been the mission of the people that have already started creating. I think they got burnt out, and a lot of the creators, like a lot of the people that I learn from that really look up to certain creators are getting disappointed in them, and it's because they're getting money, and they're not as hungry as they were to make these videos, and that's why, you know, it's just falling out. People that have tons of subscribers, over 100,000 subscribers, they're posting videos that's only getting five to 10,000 10, views. And it's for a reason. It's because all of the people are attracted to authenticity. 
authentic content coming from real people that love what they do and love sharing it. Because that, that will never, ever, ever get in, get inflicted by money. It just won't. If you really love what you do, money will not fucking change what you do. It won't. It won't. Because in the first place, you didn't start for money. And I... I wish I realized this a long time ago, but money cannot buy you happiness. The only fucking thing that can buy you happiness is your freedom. That's the only fucking thing. And I promise you, as soon as you realize that, you'll feel the happiness that I'm talking about. Because I, like I said in other podcasts prior, like, I still have debt. But I am happy as fuck. And from the amount of podcasts that I consume, I'm learning that there are a lot of people that are millionaires, and honestly, even some billionaires, and they are so unhappy. And I know this because the people that I listen to are friends with them. And I don't want to be one of those people, and I know you don't want to be one of those people. And I notice the one thing that the most happy, successful, like financially well-off people are, and that is happy doing what they love to do every single day if they are doing what they love to do they're happy and a lot of the times that's literally just you know you look at the most prolific authors in the in the game you know they made their first couple books maybe one of them went crazy they made a bunch of money they didn't stop writing books you know what i mean they kept writing books at least most of them i'm not a big reader so i don't even really know to be honest but I would just go based off my gut. Like, if you love to write, you're not gonna live a fucking day of your life without writing. Why would you live on the why would you live on this earth and do something that you don't love to do? We're living in the day and age where we can do what we love to do, share that to whatever platform we wanna share it to, for whatever people we wanna attract. Like literally this this device that I'm recording on right now. It's unbelievable. For those of you that don't know, if you want to make YouTube videos, all you got to do, instead of recording this way, record this way and post it on YouTube. That's all you do. Yeah, you got to edit it, but my God, I just do every edit that I need on iMovie. That's the easiest way to do it, and honest to God, anyone can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I promise you that. And I'm going to show every single person that I've met along the way That if I can do it, you can do it too. Because all the people that we look up to and admire, they're no different than us. They're just like you and I, I promise you. They just went out and did what they love to do and never looked back. Even if it looked crazy to other people, they never looked back and went all in. They unapologetically went all in because they know in their heart, mind, and soul that that's what they're supposed to be doing on this life, on this journey that they have on this earth. It's only a small, small amount of time when you look at the grand scheme of things, and there is no fucking reason for us to be doing anything other than what we're born to fucking do. And I really hope this podcast is the one that really gets you off your ass and just fucking going all in. Because there is no other time than the fucking present, baby. Get out there and go after what you know is yours. I know you can do it, and now you need to know you can do it. As soon as you know you can do it, it's fucking over, fam. Just keep working hard, stay patient. Good things will come. Good things will come. I love you guys so fucking much, more than you even know, and I appreciate you so much for listening all the way to this point. I really hope it brings you value, and I hope you do something with it. As I end every podcast... I just hope that every single person that's happy happy listening to this takes some time today to spread that happiness. And I hope with all my heart that each and every one of you stays curious. Because that is how we continue to learn, grow, and build the future that we all know we can build. Keep at it, family.